Okay, let's take a look around, see what we can find. Squirrel! Warren! I didn't realize beating the shit out of somebody would bruise my fist. Of course I bruised his face worse, he had that coming. That whole fight was so insane. Yes it was, how are you doing? Amped up, I wouldn't want to do it again unless I had to. You paid your hero dues. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know, I promise. Cool. Have to get back to striking super poses. She's cool. Did you show me the way in, squirrel? He totally just showed me the way in. Thanks, squirrel. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. I didn't even look around outside. Oh, yes. I we was just like, squirrel, and it showed me the right way in. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. What are those pictures on the wall behind you? Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. I'll go back outside. I didn't even look outside. I probably missed an optional photo outside. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Rickety old barn. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Watch us. <laughs> How far can I go? I don't want to go that way. Nope. Now, why would somebody run all that electricity into an old empty barn? Hmm. Very suspicious. Alright, so it doesn't look like I missed any optional photos out here. But there is electricity running in here. This tractor has paid its dues. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Hell yeah. Damn, lots of info here. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Ah, the good old days. Pollard's Market. Two dollars for drugs. Could you imagine? Eggs, 14 cents. Bam. That's old as the hills. So many haystacks, so few needles. So many haystacks, so few needles. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies.
Chloe would make a great detective too. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. I am writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult, and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest, plus a written apology. These conditions are not met by the end of the day, July 24th. In the year of our Lord, 1903, rest assured, we will make your life a living hell. Damn. Okay. Hold. Hold. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Hello. <sighs> Nothing here. What? Oh, just sheet metal. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. Hello. What do we have here? here? Fuck. Hello. What do we have here? Just rotting wood. Oh my god. Hello. What do we have here? Ring. Ring. One of these patches of ground is gonna hide some shit. Oh, hello! Fourth what time's a charm! This? It's totally brand new. Why? How do we no open it? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Need a hook. Like the hook that's right behind you. Alright, now how the fuck do we get it down? Platform. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Looks sturdy enough to stand on. this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Can I hook it up to the old motor somehow? Oh, what's that? Hey, what's going on? Look at you! <laughs> oh, shit. I missed what photo that was. Was that eight? That must have been eight. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't even I did not even notice him until now. 
All right, but seriously, what the fuck do I put the rope on? Mr. Owl, what do I put the rope on? Max, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Fucking stupid. There we go. There we go. Attached to the motor. Cause I'm smart. <laughs> Not really. I knew I had to put it on the motor, I just forgot about my fucking rewind. When I need it most. strikes again huh. time to go investigate skip I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick what's in the hatch damn this is heavy what is yep, this? that's why they need electricity. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, of course. Enter the dungeon. This bunker is so surreal. First a padlock, then a digicode. Someone really doesn't want visitors. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Oh. Four, it's four, two, and five. So I just gotta guess. Five, four, two. Did it! Oh, yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. I wasn't even paying attention, obviously, to the fucking Open sesame. faded numbers. What the fuck is that? Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell is this? What in the fuck? Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. As Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear is becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan and I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I'm always available. Holy shit, his father was just like, Jesus fuck Andy, your, my son's mental health. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Oh, look at all this weird shit. More survivalist supplies. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker.
Jesus, I already hate this place. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Son of a bitch. Oh, a million dollar Stormbreaker bunker. Jesus Christ. Talk about tortured. It's in the cupboard. Oh, the binders. The binders! From the cutscenes, Rachel and Kate. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Victoria. Victoria's got one too. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, She's the next. next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Rachel was one of them. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. That's fucked up. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot now! Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way! She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake. Rachel has passed out, and she has something in her mouth. This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and Nathan, his Nathan, I've told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you. You're on your own. This game is so dark, it's unreal. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Is that Kate? That's Kate. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott Principal family. Wells informed me you've been suspended due to some suspect Vortex Club activity on your part. Never mind that. I just want you to know what kind of shame you've once again brought on this family. I've given you everything you've ever wanted, including Blackwell Academy, among other things we shall not mention, but nothing is ne ever enough for you. You're still my son, and I want us to fulfill our destiny. That day is coming sooner than you think, so be prepared to step into that responsibility. This is my final warning. Oh my god. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she- At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Well, here's our proof of what Nathan did to Kate. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So who's using this fancy tripod? Somebody likes their whiskey. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. That's an original signed illustration. 
fits perfect in here. Needles and drugs, isn't that just Needles. fantastic? Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go to the junkyard. See if we can find Rachel. little legs I can't run as fast as you can look this is it this is it are you gonna help me Max Chloe stop look what is that no. what is that <gasps> Smell, Rachel. Oh. No, Rachel, no, no, please, not her. <laughs> Chloe. Did he kill her and bury her in the junkyard? Rachel, I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? Fucking Nathan, that's how. What kind of world does this? This is so fucked up. This game is so fucked up. It's insane. But it's it's so good though. Like it's so like captivating. Like I'm just so like locked in whenever I play this game. Like it's just so well done. So Rachel is dead. We're assuming. And the snow deer. The spirit of the snow deer. Oh, was the deer Rachel? Was like the deer Rachel's spirit animal and it was like trying to guide us to her body and be like, hey, I'm fucking dead. That's crazy. That's wild. If that's true. I could be completely wrong, but... It's wild if that's what that is. Now, do we say Victoria? I think we do. As, as much of a bitch as she can be, she doesn't deserve Nathan to do that to her. Especially because she thinks Nathan's like her friend. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice and revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is going to get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Line. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be two moons. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Two moons. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world <laughs> is ending. Cool. You're I don't give a listening. shit. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Tunnel vision for Nathan Prescott. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. He's Where drunk. Is 
I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Yes, well, heavily. If you consider half a beer drinking. Yes, in your case, cool, yes. Where this yeah, is your first yeah. drink, yes. I know this is that a bad is drinking. Time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I want to have something because I, don't I have a deep crush I know, on you. I know, I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody. You're, you're like a normal that kid now, Warren. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not, not while you're drunk anymore. like that, bud. Text soon. No, um, I'm not, no, Stella. I'm actually not okay. I I just need to find Nathan. And beat his ass. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. My phone best blow up. Party, I'm not gonna lie. I wonder how us fucking with the guest list is gonna mess with the party. Oh, Brooke. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. Then why are you here? <laughs> so, why are you here tonight? No homework? Boredom? Waiting? Have you seen Warren? Oh, Warren. I will. He left already, but we're going to map out our drive-in date later. Warren wants to go to dinner first, so that'll be fun. Is that cool with you, Max? Absolutely. Yes, it's great. Brooke, you I'm can happy. take him. And Warren. I got Chloe. I'd like to see you happy instead of waiting. Thanks, Max. 
Though I feel selfish talking about a boy considering Kate and the Arcadia Bay echo meltdown. You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. It is. Well, the night is still young. All you gotta do is step so outside, bro. So let's plan a drone date next week. If we're still alive. Energy drinks. So, uh, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. I just wish someone would look. You see Nathan? I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. Hell yeah. I'm looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? No big deal. Really? You look pretty fucking intense. Is Nathan bothering you? Oh wait, I did see Nathan today. Nursing a busted face. <laughs> I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, Someone did. Sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beatdown. Yes, give it up for brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. That'll be hard to do when the Prescotts own the town and the Vortex Club. I call it the Vortex Cult. Look at this crap. Dress code, VIP section, elitist bullshit. Preach it, brother Lou. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you but for helping Kate and for keeping it real. Peace out. No one seems to know what Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? They that great. Water action. Oh shit! Saving Alyssa! Fuck yeah! Have you seen Nathan? I'm surprised to see you here. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why? When I have Max Caulfield at my side. Hell yeah. Good luck. I'm your personal superhero. I'm on the list, excuse me, I can get in. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. List. I'm on the list, okay? Okay. Unlike Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Take a look. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. My name is on the list. I edited the list. 
What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? I'm so not impressed by this VIP. Trust me, dude. You're not missing anything. That shit looks like it's from a totally different game. Like... That's just a really shitty background animation, I'm sorry. <laughs> the fuck? Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Maybe I can get in through Dana. She's not with me. Oh. So yes, this party sucks. You're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I try to front like I was. When I saw them together, he came over to cry like a little bitch. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin, but you're a cool, considerate guy and you're gonna find somebody just as cool, minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind no seriously I'm out of here oh and everything isn't so fuzzy yo uh you look where else Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge Gotta with get that the whore text VIP club. Lounge. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. Literally Nate. nobody likes Nathan, LMAO. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted. Uh, no- Fuck. The tide is turning. Oh, gross. How did this even get here? Oh, that's nice. Good night, sweet prince. for like an hour. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. Wrap it up. We're coming in, sister. I gotta go figure out how to get in VIP. Push this out of the way and officially crash the VIP section. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck is going on? Well, okay, okay, whoa, whoa, who stopped the music, okay? DJ, what the fuck? Oh my god, DJ, you don't check me out. What is you not cool? Yes, you. What the hell are you doing? 
Well, now I'm on the other side of it, so it's fine. Hell yeah. Sneaking in the back way of the VIP section. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Yes. We'll warn her. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party. Everybody is wasted. What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. He doesn't this care is about you. Than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You suck. <laughs> you have talent. You we'll have be talent, nice. Victoria. We'll take the high road here for once with Victoria. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. Yeah, yeah, cut this bullshit. Just warn her already. I won't be choosing my photo. I'm not as talented as I thought. Yes, you are. But we shouldn't have to choose between talent and kindness. I hope. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Well, I do. Do you think it's Nathan's like gonna fucking drug you? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision, that would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen, but not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Absolutely warn her. Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now. So listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touche. But I am not fucking around here. If she doesn't believe us, Sorry, then... but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. Well, that's your fault. I tried to warn you. Enter a photo in the contest, and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. You just were feeling self-conscious, and you're like, oh, I'm not that good of an artist. I'm not going to win. That is so fucking Jackass. Lazy, Max. Just go find a community college. Victoria, please don't do this. Especially after what happened to Kate. Can't you see I'm serious? That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going and to- And the, the end of your world if you don't you fucking listen to me, anymore. bitch! I'll let Nathan know if he finally shows up. Adios. Au revoir. Au revoir. It was nice knowing you. I tried. I'm keeping that decision. I tried to warn her and she didn't want to fucking believe me, so that's her problem. Okay, I tried. 
She's not gonna believe me over her Vortex Club partner. Oh, Taylor, I could talk to Taylor and be like, hey. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting like too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. What does Victoria say about him? She blows it off, but Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother sister or something. She really cares about him. Is this why you want to be in a vortex club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last vortex club party by Nathan. So you should avoid any drink here tonight. But trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? I better get Chloe. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody pinches. I guess we'll just get out of here then, because Nathan's not here, Victoria's not going to listen to us, so... Chloe's here. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide in the Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a mission. Oh, we are, so set up aside. I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. Well, I didn't know you were pals, but... I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over this, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, mm -mm. that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Hold out before we keep fighting till I'm flat broke. Escaping the the fears, just like the man's wish. Shed tears inside, I'm still the same kid. Represent for my Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I thought I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist, sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Oh my god! Oh my god, I won! <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. <laughs> she was the real everyday You didn't give a fuck about Kate. Kate. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. No. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now! Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh 
Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Yo, what the f- Did the second moon just disappear? It was like, alright, peace out, I'm a dip. This party was lit, but it's time for me to go. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind Oh, we're back at the train tracks. I wonder if this is where, like, if we push that thing off the hill into the thing. I wonder if this is where it comes back around. Oh, there's the lighthouse. That's that's not creepy and ominous at all. Max, when we catch Nathan, you better rewind so I can kill him <sighs> over. And Max, look, please hurry! We can't... Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. We don't even know it's her though, it's just a body bag. Oh no. Oh, I can't rewind. He drugged me. Chloe! Look out. What the fuck? Yo, what? He drugged me and shot Chloe. What the fuck? I can't even rewind! My love interest! Oh, Nathan's dead. He shot my love interest. He's done. He's dead meat now. Oh, what? Mr. Jefferson? What? Oh, I, I must be on drugs. I have to be on drugs. Unless that was all hallucination. And that's the end of the episode? No! Oh my god. We accepted Chloe's request. Wow. Look at look at these choices. Almost 50-50 for both Chloe's request and Warren beating up Nathan. Uh, Chloe killed Frank. Chloe wounded Frank. No one got hurt. I, fin I finagled that shit so hard so that no one got hurt. Spent way too much time on that shit. Victoria didn't believe my warning. There must have been a way to like rewind and talk to like some of the other people in the VIP area so that like they could talk to Victoria and then she would believe us. But I just didn't. I didn't want to have another, like, no one got hurt situation where I just spent way too much time on a decision, so. That one, it is what it is. What else do we have? Let the blue jay die. What blue jay? Fuck, man. I didn't disturb the bird's nest. I didn't know there was a bird's nest to disturb. You found David's code. You got David's files in another way. So there was a code for me to find, but Max was like, Oh, I don't have time to find a code. So that's why I just went with the crowbar way. Kate helped you find Nathan's room. Kate didn't help you. Kate's dead. <laughs> Kate can't help me if she's dead. So obviously, she's not going to help me if she's dead. Didn't motivate Daniel to attend the Vortex Club party. 
well, he was kind of like, I didn't know there was like an outcome for that. He was just kind of like, I suck. I want, I want to sit here. Uh, didn't leave a message on, oh, I could, I could have drew on Warren Slate. Oh, fuck. I totally would have drew on Warren Slate. Didn't figure out Nathan's pin code. It only gave you three tries before it was like, just enter this instead. And I helped Alyssa again. All right, let's see this episode five trailer for the finale. All the dark room drugs. It's not na- That's really Mr. Jefferson? And then we have, of course, the tornado coming. Episode 5, Polarized. Oh my god, dude. That was really Mr. Jefferson the entire time. Yo, this game is so fucking well done. It's unreal. The entire time, it has you believing that that was Nathan's dark room because, like, it's owned by a Prescott and all that shit. And then this whole time, it's Mr. Jefferson that's taking those photos in that dark room. Mr. Jefferson, this whole time, is the one that led Kate to commit suicide. Damn. Oh my god. I'm gonna move right along to episode 5 because this game is just so fucking insane. It's not even funny. And it's the end of the world, so I am going and to- And the end of your world if you don't fucking listen to me, bitch! <laughs>